Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of Getting Started at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. In the previous episode I showed you how to download the game and how to update the game also by using the launcher or uh, without using the launcher. You can see the shortcuts to the game here. Um, what I want to show you in this episode is uh, what to well, yeah, what the file structure looks like of uh, OpenRST2 and if you get any files from people uh, where you should put them. So um, I've made a shortcut to the game here so let's uh, go check it out. Okay um, when you uh, start up the game uh, at some point you have to uh, you have to install it and then uh, yeah you uh, end up with an OpenRST2 folder. Now in the previous episode I already showed the bin folder uh, that's basically where all the important data of your game is stored. So with important data, I mean well, your the executable file is here. Um, also the game data is here. So all the objects that you find in game are also uh, stored here. Normally you uh, pro probably will not have to do much uh, with these files. So uh, I will not uh, go uh, into these. Okay. Um, now something that you will most often uh, have to do is uh, well, most probably you will get some save files from people uh, sometimes, or you may uh, download a save file somewhere. So, uh, if, if when you get a save file, um, you can see save files are SV6 files. Uh, when you get a save file from someone, you should put it in your save uh, folder. This is your default save folder, so when you open up the game and uh, you uh, try to load a save from in the game it will always by default go to this folder. Now uh, something that I like to do uh, is to uh, well here you can see these sv6 files uh, by default the game will the computer will always ask with which project you want to open these files if you double click them. So I'll just right click it and then we can do open with and you can do choose another app and then here you can select the program with which you want to open the files. So for example, you could go here to more apps and you can look for another app on this PC. And then you could go to your OpenRST2 folder, bin, and then just select the executable, OpenRST2.exe. And then uh, when you do that, you also see this checkbox here, always use this app to open SV6 files. So when you have selected uh, OpenRST2, the executable from the bin folder, and you select this uh, check mark, then, uh, oh, now it actually opens it. <laughs> now, uh, when you have done that, whenever you double click a file, it will simply uh, open it immediately. Uh, and you don't have to start up the game first. So yeah, just uh, remember that when you get the save file from someone, just put it in the save folder. Also, when you're playing in the game and you uh, you save a file, you save a park, it will also end up in this folder. You can also make uh, subfolders in this uh, in this folder. I actually quite uh, recommend it uh, to keep it uh, from becoming as messy as uh, my save folder currently is. Okay. Um, now, so something that is uh, also uh, that I also sometimes share with people, especially when I share workbenches, is uh, scenarios. When you get a scenario from someone or where you download it, well, there's a scenario folder here. If the scenario folder is not there, you can always make your own scenario folder. Just type scenario here uh, when you make a new folder. And then here you can put your scenarios. I have quite a lot of scenarios uh, because I run my own server. But yeah, just uh, just put them here and then whenever you start up the game, the scenarios will show up um, in whatever category you put them in when you while you were in the scenario editor. So all these uh, scenarios should uh, show up when I open up the game. Okay, um, well there's also the landscape folder. Basically, when you make a scenario, and as long as you don't go all the way through to the end, so at the end there's a step where you save, where you set all the options, and then you save the file. If you don't go through it, uh, 
I believe that it, when you uh, save the scenario before complete completion, it will end up in the landscape folder. So basically, the landscape folder is just uh, is also SC6 files, just like the scenarios, but they uh, they're unfinished uh, scenarios. And I see there's also an auto save uh, uh, folder here. So basically, while you are building a scenario, it will ex actually also auto save uh, them for you uh, while you're working on it. But uh, this probably has to be set in the options to have auto saves. So yeah, that's probably a good option to set uh, when you're in the game. Go to options and look for the auto save uh, option. I uh, really recommend uh, turning on auto saves. Especially if the game crashes for some reason, you really don't want to lose hours of work. Personally, I have uh, set my autosave function to uh, save the parks every five minutes. Okay, um, then there's also the track folder. Uh, whenever you uh, save a track design, uh, it ends up in this folder. Um, whenever you get a, a track from someone, um, also just put them in this folder and they should uh, show up in game uh, when you make a track okay there's this theme so I don't know what this is this is probably um, this is probably uh, color uh, schemes that you uh, choose in game but I'm not sure I uh, really don't uh, I don't really use this uh, server logs, they're only important if you run a multiplayer server. You just chose uh, all the server names that you had. Uh, well, the game just uh, stores any server logs you may have in this folder. Uh, then there's the sequence folder. So whenever you make a title sequence uh, for the park, I've made a tutorial on how to do that. Uh, so basically it's a sequence of parks you see when you start up the game. Whenever you make your own uh, title sequence, they end up in this folder. Also, when you get uh, a title sequence from someone, it will have the park se park sec uh, extension. I just put them in this folder, and then they should uh, show up for you uh, under options. Okay, here's the screenshot folder. Well, this shouldn't surprise you. Uh, whenever you uh, make a screenshot in game using the in game function. I believe Control S is uh, by default the shortcut for making a screenshot in OpenRST2. But in the options menu, you can also uh, choose to make a screenshot or also a giant screenshot, which basically makes a screenshot of the entire map. Well, they end up in the screenshot folder. Now, I, I quite often make uh, screenshots for my uh, multiplayer parks, etc. So that's why I, I made a lot of folders just to organize them. But by default, they will just uh, show up as these uh, separate uh, screenshots. By default, they use uh, the PNG uh, file format. All right, uh, we covered the scenario folder, save uh, the replay. Um, I believe there's a function in the game to actually uh, record some of your gameplay and then uh, let it uh, let the game play it back later. I believe that's uh, the replay functionality. I have never used it uh, myself, so I cannot really uh, go into detail about it. Now, here's another important uh, folder. Here's the plugin folder. Now, plugins are basically just uh, uh, little scripts that you can let the game run to uh, do uh, let the game do something. For example, here's the ride vehicle editor. Basically, what it does is uh, it allows me to uh, yeah, go to a ride in game and just change several vehicles into different ones or change the spacing between vehicles. Um, here's the weather lock um, script. Basically, what it does is whenever I open a save file, it uh, stops the weather f from uh, changing in that park. And that's quite useful if I uh, show a lot of parks to people. Because in previous videos, I often would uh, immediately start writing after I uh, opened the park. So yeah, this is uh, plugins. You can get them on uh, several websites. I made a... Uh, well, I showed the website in uh, several of my tutorials. Um, so yeah, just look for openers to plugins on uh, in, in your search engine. And it will probably take you to the website where the openrc 2 plugins uh, are available for download. Okay, um, 
Okay, then here's, an, here's a very uh, important folder. This is the object folder. So you can see a lot of files here. Now, uh, whenever you open a park from someone that uh, has custom objects, uh, they will end up in this object folder. So you will not have to do anything for that. They will uh, end up here automatically. If the park has, uh, or if that player has set the park to export uh, custom objects. So you, so like I said, if you open uh, a park from from uh, someone, and the park has custom objects. They will end up here. If you uh, get any custom objects uh, that you download from somewhere or that you get from someone, you can also put them here manually. Then in game, when you go to the object selector, then you will uh, you will be able to choose from all these uh, custom objects in your in your map. So yeah, just remember when you get a pallet from someone or a, or a different object, uh, just put them in the object folder. Now, uh, as you open more and more custom, uh, or uh, as you open more and more maps with custom objects, then uh, over time uh, this folder might get quite full, and when that happens, it may take quite long for your game to uh, to start up in some situations. So uh, every n every once in a while, I just completely uh, remove everything in this folder, and that uh, should make it uh, faster to start up again. Okay, here's uh, we covered the landscape folder. Here's the keys folder. Basically, uh, well, you probably won't need to bother with this folder uh, too much. Uh, basically, uh, whenever you set a name in the game, for example, my uh, name in the game is uh, Ducklink One. It's a name that uh, you use for um, for multiplayer servers. So whenever you uh, do that, it will the game will generate a key for you. And if uh, you also have a second laptop from which you want to play the game, uh, then when you use the same name in the server, then your name will show up. Uh, for example, I would show up as Dirklink1 and then a hash and then a two. Now, if you want to uh, show up with the same name in the server and the same permissions, then you should take this keys folder and copy it to your second laptop so you have this exactly the same keys and then when you uh, go into the server from that second laptop then you will have the same name and the same permissions so it yeah, might be uh, something to keep in mind now um, here's the height map folder i simply just uh, put several uh, height maps uh, which i used in game uh, to generate a map Basically, what the height map is, I believe you have to have a bitmap image, uh, which uses a grayscale uh, format. And then when you open that up in game, uh, it can gen use the data in that image to generate a map for you, with different heights uh, based on uh, different colors in your uh, in your map. It's uh, it's quite technical. I think it uh, deserves its own uh, tutorial. But yeah, if you have a height map, uh, you should put them in this uh, folder. Okay, here's uh, these things. I believe this map is empty for me, so I'll just delete it. Then there's a chat logs folder. Um, well, yeah, f I uh, run a server quite often, so this uh, folder is uh, full of uh, chat logs from the server. Uh, it might be uh, useful to have something like this uh, if uh, some players have been uh, naughty on your server and you want to uh, find out what was uh, being said. Okay, in the bin folder, I just uh, showed this folder to you. Okay, here's some other uh, files. Um, well, I will not go through all of them for you, but uh, I think config.ini might be uh, useful. It contains all the settings you do in the game. Um, uninstall, of course. <laughs> There's also high score. So if you uh, play a lot of scenarios and you want to delete the progress, so you basically you want to reset all the scenarios to be uh, uncompleted, then you can simply uh, delete this file. Okay, um, I think that's uh, all you need to know about uh, OpenRC2 file structure. Uh, I hope this video is uh, useful for you, and I'll see you again in the next one. <laughs>